السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Today, inshallah, we're going to solve one question on Snell's law. The question says, you have a ray of light traveling in air, strikes the midpoint of one face of an equiangular glass prism. The index of refraction of the glass is 1.5 at an angle 30 degree. Part A of the question, trace the path of the light ray through the glass and find the angle of incident of the ray at the bottom of the prism. B, will the ray pass through the bottom surface of the prism or will it be totally internally reflected? So, <clears throat> there are three conditions to have total internal reflection. To have total internal reflection, first condition, the index of refraction of the first medium should be greater than the index of refraction of the second medium. Like, for example, if light goes from here, I have water. And here, air. So imagine yourself like swimming. And you're underwater. You have a laser beam or a flashlight. And this is the incident beam that will hit the surface of water. So light will travel imaginary line. If I draw imaginary line that is perpendicular to the surface of water, this is, we call it the normal. This imaginary line is perpendicular to the surface. At, so light goes from high index of refraction, index of refraction for water is 1.333. For air into is one. So first medium is where the light is incident. Second medium where the light goes. So I have a refracted ray here. At will be the refracted ray at the surface. So this angle here, I'm going to call it theta one, equal critical angle. The angle of refraction theta two will be 90 degrees. So the second condition. Second condition we have at the critical angle at theta one equal the critical angle. The refracted angle will be 90 degree. Now, when do I have total internal reflection? At incident angle greater than the critical angle. So if the light, the incident ray here now is greater so i have theta one greater than the critical angle this refracted ray will be totally internal refracted within the water itself okay so here the angle of incident i'm going to call this one theta one prime and this one theta two prime they should be equal theta one prime will equal theta two prime so i will have here total Internal, internal reflection. All the light will bounce back inside the water. So these are the three conditions. We need to make sure we have these conditions to solve this question. How can I find the critical angle from the Snell's law? Snell's law says this one equal nine. So the critical angle in one, this Snell's law, sine. Theta one equal into sine theta two. N one sine theta critical at the critical angle at theta one equal theta critical equals into sine ninety because theta two will equal ninety. Sine ninety will give you one. So sine theta critical will be N2 divided by N1. I divide both sides by N1. So this one. How can I find it from this formula? Sine theta critical equals N2 divided by N1. Let's go back to 
our question. So first, I have the incident ray will go from air. So first medium here, this is air, air, and it will go to glass. So the light ray will go from air to, to glass. This is my first medium and this is my second medium. First medium N1 for the air is 1, N2 for the glass is 1.5. This is from the question. Now what is the angle of incident? Theta 1. Theta 1 is the angle between the incident ray and the normal. This is the dashed line is the normal. So this one is the angle of incident theta 1. Normal, we said normal is imaginary perpendicular line to the surface. Perpendicular line means all of this angle 90 degree. So theta 1 will be 90 degree minus 30, and this will give me 60 degree. This is theta 1. Now I can apply Snell's law. What will happen to the ray when it goes from fast or lower index of refraction like air? To high index of refraction like a glass, it will bend toward the normal, so the light will bend. Okay, so I have a light here, it will bend toward the normal. This is the normal. I need now to find the value of theta 2. Theta 2. This one is to a different color, so this is theta 2. So let's go apply Snell's law. N1 sine theta 1 will equal into sine theta 2. N1 for the air is 1. Sine theta 1 here is 60. Equals N2 for the glass is 1.5 sine theta 2. Divide both sides by 1.5, by 1.5, and find the value of sine theta 2. So sine theta 2 will be sine 60 divided by 1.5. You can create this number, you should get 0.5 seven. It's a long number, 775, seven, etc. You can do it in the calculator. Find theta 2, take sine inverse for both sides. So theta 2 will be sine inverse of this number, 0.5775. And you should get. Theta 2 equals 35.3 degrees. Now next, the light will go, now the light is inside the glass. The light will go from glass now to air. So first medium now, I have the glass, second medium, air. So second step now, the light will go from what? From glass to air. So this is the first medium. This is my second medium. First medium in one for the glass is 1.5. Second medium for the air is one. Now the question, will the light be total internal? Will I have the light Will I have total internal reflection with that means will the light be totally internally reflected like this? Or will the light pass from, uh, will the light be refracted, which means pass through the glass to outside to the air? So if I draw, let me erase this one, okay, uh, draw perpendicular line. Here, 
this is perpendicular line. So if the light, if the light be refracted or passed from glass to air, it will be reflected away from the normal because in this case the, the light will go from glass, low or slow uh, medium to air, which is fast medium that has less index of refraction, so it will be refracted away from the medium. I need to I need to I need to figure it out whether it be refracted or will I have total internal refraction? Which one of them? This is the question. Like to solve this question, I have to find the angle of incident. I need to find what is the value of this theta one. I'm going to call it theta one prime. How can I find it? And I need to find also the critical angle. If I take this triangle, this one, I'm going to use geometry now. Look at this triangle. So let's draw this triangle down, I'll draw it down. So I have here, this is a triangle. It is equilateral triangle. So this angle here, if I extend the normal, it will cut this angle into two equal angles. So this half of this one is 30. So this angle here is 30. 30. This angle here, we already measured it, which is the refracted angle here, theta 2. And the value for uh, theta 2 was 35.3. So I have this one is 35.3. Okay, here's the normal, this one, the imaginary line. The normal is perpendicular to the surface, so this angle is 90 degree. I need now to find theta 1 prime, the incident angle. So I know the total angles of a triangle of 180. So if I add all of these angles, theta 1 prime, plus 90, plus 30, plus 35.3 should give you it should give me 180 degree because this is triangle so i need theta one prime theta one bar it will be 180 minus 90 plus 30 plus 35.3 and this should give me 24.7 degree now, I have to find the critical angle to satisfy the other condition. If the angle of incident is greater than the critical angle, I should have total internal reflection. So I have to find the value of the critical angle. This is the second step. So sine theta critical will equal in two over in one. The light will go. This is the first medium. This is the second medium. So this is the incident ray here. So first medium, first medium for the glass is 1.5. Second medium air is one. So it will be one divided by 1.5. Take sine inverse for both sides. So theta critical will be sine inverse one divided by 1.5. And this will give me 41.8 degree. Now notice. I have theta one, theta one here, the value of theta one, 24.7, and theta critical is 41.8. That means theta one, the angle of incidence is less than the critical angle. That means I will not have total internal reflection. So what will happen to the light? The light will be refracted. So it will go refracted away from away from the normal. So I will have here since theta one prime, which is equal to 24.7 degree, less than the critical angle, which is equal to 41.8 degree. So the light will pass through the bottom of the surface. So the light ray will 
pass through the bottom surface, the bottom surface. Here is the answer of the question. So I won't have total internal reflection.